They weren't whales. They weren't hippos. And they weren't sea cows. They were something entirely unique. Meet Desmostilia, one of the strangest and most mysterious groups of marine mammals to ever exist. Imagine a world very different from today, where the Pacific coastline stretched wider, sea levels were higher, and lush coastal forests bordered shallow, temperate seas. This was the world Desmostilia called home, a time when Earth was warmer, and the continents were still shifting into their modern positions. Between 30 and 7 million years ago, during the late Oligocene and Miocene epochs, the planet was undergoing massive ecological changes. Dense kelp forests flourished, creating rich marine ecosystems. Early whales were diversifying, giant prehistoric sharks patrolled the waters, and the ancestors of modern pinnipeds, seals and sea lions were just beginning to appear. It was an era of evolution and competition, and in this dynamic world, Desmostilia carved out their own niche, living along the shorelines of the North Pacific, from California to Japan. But what exactly were they? Physically, Desmostilia were unlike anything alive today. Imagine a stocky, hippo-like creature measuring 2 to 4 meters, 6 to 13 feet long, with a barrel-shaped body, strong, column-like limbs, and hoof-like toes. Unlike fully aquatic mammals, Desmostilians could walk on land, but they were well adapted for a life spent wading through shallow waters, grazing on sea grasses and kelp. Think of them as the missing link between land-dwelling mammals and the fully marine sea cows we know today. But what really set them apart were their teeth. Their molars were large, flat and ridged, forming a chewing surface unlike any other mammal. Scientists believe they used a suction feeding method, similar to walruses, to pull up vegetation from the seafloor before grinding it down with their powerful molars. This specialized diet suggests they were important grazers in ancient coastal ecosystems, much like modern-day manatees and dugongs. Despite their aquatic adaptations, they weren't as streamlined as whales or sea cows. Their thick, powerful limbs suggest they likely hauled themselves onto beaches or rocky shores, much like modern seals. This would have given them access to both marine and land-based food sources, but it also may have made them vulnerable to predators like prehistoric sharks and early whales. Scientists aren't entirely sure how they lived. Were they social like manatees, forming small groups and traveling together? Or were they solitary, only coming together to mate and raise their young? Fossil evidence is scarce, but some researchers believe Desmostilians may have been more like hippos, territorial and aggressive when needed, yet mostly docile grazers. One of the most fascinating things about Desmostelia is who their relatives were. Believe it or not, they were distantly related to elephants and manatees. All three belong to a group called Tethytheria, which traces its roots back to primitive land mammals that once roamed the ancient shores of Africa and Eurasia. But while elephants thrived on land and manatees fully embraced the ocean, Desmostelians took a middle path, partially aquatic, but never fully leaving land behind. Unfortunately, this unique way of life may have contributed to their downfall. As the climate changed and ocean ecosystems shifted, seagrass meadows and coastal habitats began to decline. Competition with better adapted marine herbivores, like the ancestors of modern sea cows, put additional pressure on them. By around 7 million years ago, Desmostilia had vanished, leaving only fossils as clues to their existence. Despite their extinction, Desmostilia remain a scientific mystery. Were they more like hippos or sea cows? Did they have thick, wrinkly skin, or were they covered in something more like bristly hair? Did they roam in herds, or were they solitary wanderers? Though Desmostilia may be gone, their story isn't over. Every fossil uncovered brings us closer to understanding how these strange creatures lived, thrived, and ultimately disappeared. Their distant relatives, elephants, manatees and dugongs, still roam the land and sea today, reminding us of the evolutionary paths that shaped the natural world. By studying Desmostilia, scientists gain insight into how mammals transitioned from land to water, how ancient ecosystems functioned, and how climate change can determine the fate of entire species.
Their extinction serves as a reminder that even the most well-adapted creatures can vanish when their environment changes too quickly. But there's still so much we don't know. Could new fossil discoveries rewrite their story? Were they more social than we think? Did they have unique adaptations we haven't yet uncovered? The more we learn, the more fascinating the mystery becomes. Who knows what other prehistoric giants are still waiting to be discovered? If you love exploring Earth's forgotten past, don't forget to like and subscribe. Let us know in the comments which extinct or living animals you'd like to learn more about. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.